Hey guys, Firearms Addict here with a book review about the book titled Hiram Burdan, His Famous Sharpshooters and Their Sharps Rifles by Wiley Sword. Or Sword. Not positive. My wife and I had an argument about that. Actually, it wasn't an argument, just a discussion. Um, the book has 123 pages. It's broken into three parts. The idea of using breech loaders with rapid, accurately placed shots was a new concept. The book is hard-covered, and it is published by Andrew Mowbray Incorporated out of Rhode Island. The book is broken into three parts. First part is Hybrid Burdan the Man, and this goes into all kinds of different details about uh, the background of Mr. Burdan and his idea on uh, starting the Sharpshooters Corps. It has original photographs. It goes into a lot of controversy and political infighting and talks about uh, Mr. Burdan as a soldier. He may not have been the best leader in the world. Has original maps or copies of original maps. Talks about his ideas for the uniforms. And is quite interesting. He was an inventor by trade and came up with all kinds of different ideas. Part two is about the actual sharpshooters, the men. Talks about California Joe, who was uh, in his 50s and signed up with the Union Army. If you see here in this photograph, that's a Colt revolving rifle. There's a lot of uh, interesting context about how the man en actually ended up with the Sharps rifle and originally were issued the Colts because some of the procurement people in the army did not want to order them. This is a picture of California Joe at Gettysburg and has all kinds of details about the soldiers that fought in the sharpshooters. The final chapter is about the rifles and goes into more details about the Colts. And then uh, finally, the Army Procurement uh, Department issues the sharps to them, but then there's still controversy where rifles were given out to other brigades instead of to the sharpshooters. And uh, Hiram Burdan had to fight to get them back or to attempt to get them back. Here's a picture of the double set triggers from an original Sharps. After this, there's two appendices. The first is a diary from one of the sharpshooters, and this was quite interesting. It goes day by day of their different activities and the risks that they took. His name was William B. Green. The second appendix is a battle report from one of the majors in the sharpshooters, and it's interesting as well. This is a well-written book on an interesting topic, and I've been debating getting a sharps rifle for years. This book actually made me decide to go ahead and get one for the channel. It's gonna take a while, I'm sure, to get in because it's a sh special order item from Taylor's, but I actually have um, committed to getting a Burdan Sharpshooters Sharps Rifle. Really looking forward to it coming in and being able to share it with you and the loading process and making the cartridges and all that. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button. I'd love for you to comment, share this with your friends, and thank you for watching. Come back for more and check out the book. <music>